What's up guys, Matthew from Maths Bay Battles, and today I am back recording some videos. It's been a while, I've been sick, I had a rash and a sore lip, a cold sore, and it caused half my lip to go numb. And I had a concert in band for my school. I stayed home that Friday afterwards. It's pretty bad. Kinda sucked. Actually, it really sucked. The light's not on, whatever. Not a big deal. Today, battle on... Um, um, after watching my edited video, I realized, wow, I'm really bad at editing. <laughs> it wasn't the worst thing ever. It wasn't terrible, but I did me mess a few things up. I wasn't proud of the video exactly, but, uh, I'm gonna leave it up and everything. It's not awful or anything, but there's a couple things I messed up on. Um, like, slow motion, and, like, I did slow motion, and then it cut instead of, like, Slow motion goes fast for a second, then cuts, you know, just a little, little things. Uh, I wasn't sure how I wanted to edit any of them anyways. I wanted to keep the volume on or not. And I'll just... Yeah, I, it wasn't fun. I wasn't enjoying editing it. So, uh, I'm going back to live narration. The reason I didn't do the other ones live is because... There's other couple ones. I have a bunch of videos recorded too that aren't live. But, uh... It gets weird after a while. If I'm not recording, like, something specific. Like, it's just random battles. My narration gets weird. But... Today we have Lightning El Drago, 100, full flat, and Storm Pegasus, 105, real flat, and you might be, hey, why don't you put the bay closer to your, your thing, because then when I refocus it, if I, unless I focus in like the corner or something, and because of these lights, that could screw up the color, like how it looks, like, you know, it could make this darker to, you know, do the light or whatever, and what happens, or if I go in the middle, then it, whenever the base hit each other, then the lighting goes, blinks and off, and it's awful, so, let's start. Very happy with the I'm excited. Swift Storm Pegasus is in the <laughs> And Storm Pegasus is out early. So El Dragon wins round one. This is first two, three, best out of five. Thank you guys. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Where did that be? There you go. Don't want to mess my lines up on accident. <laughs> Basically, I get sick at the wrong time, so that's why I haven't really recorded it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Storm Pegasus wins our army. Three. That is why I haven't been uploading. Sucks. I'll do it next. CPT. I don't want to just put up a random intro. I know I'm never going to be able to play a tournament in a good tournament if I just put it up randomly. You know, I have to be actually, you know, upload a little bit. I know Dragon wins, which means this is going to the final round, round five. Oh, question of the day, real quick question of the day um anybody who played super mystery dungeon i want to know your opinions on it I'll, I'll tell you mine after this battle i kind of liked it whoops let's let's not do that actually let's just mm -hmm, screw it. i tried to put i guess it's on left rotation it didn't work oh that was pretty cool El Dragon was gonna win though I like El Drago a little bit more than Storm Pegasus, but I do like Storm Pegasus. I used to not like Storm Pegasus as much, but as time has gone on, um, with the bays changing, getting newer and stuff, I really like Storm Pegasus. It makes me like all the retro bay, older bay, or retro, older bays much more. Why are two purple lights out? It might have to be the purple ones. Whatever, okay, so, uh, real quick, my opinions on Super Mystery to keep it short and concise. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the game. Uh, I I think the second one is a little bit better. I think this one did some things right and really improved. I never played Beast and Pain from the second one, but there's still some things that are different from the one that are bad. So some things are better, some things are worse compared to it. I personally like the second one a little bit more though. But this one was definitely good. I liked the story. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed some of the things like instead of like they kept to keep the plot going, you might go to a super hard dungeon and you'd still have to have some reviver seed and stuff. Like, but they added a tiny reviver seed. And they'd give you, like, a really good Pokemon to go with you or something, you know? Like, we're gonna do this mission, we're gonna go exploring, and we're doing our vision, but you guys will send somebody else with you, and they can help you, and it makes it much easier. So you can advance the plot, and you don't have to spend a ton of time grinding to get Reviver Seeds that are expensive. Because A, Reviver Seeds are cheaper, and you can get tiny Reviver Seeds. So yeah, there's some good things, but it's a bad thing. So, but overall, I liked it. It was a fun game. I'm glad I got it. I'd be willing to get a second one to, for, to just replay over and over again, and then you have one that's like, finished. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a bit long. I had to kind of tell you guys some stuff. And I posted something on Google Plus, a bit of an update um, on some stuff. 
and I'm not probably not gonna make a video on the update so if you want to check Google Plus or the comments of that flame Libre Rare Eris video you can and you'll see the update so if you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys later bye